How's it going, ladies and gents? It's your from the neighborhood, Aussie, Squidgy TV, and we're back with some more NBA 2K14. Cleveland Cavaliers, my GM mode. As you can see, there was no, like, sort of intro to this game. That's because I lost the first, like, five minutes I recorded. That's some bull dump. I actually, like, don't know why. Maybe something went wrong. But in the end, people, this is what you're here for. Let's jump ahead into the play-by-play. -play. As you see, Darren Collison goes up and gets that layup. Darren Collison is actually a straight-up beast now. I think he's, like, an 87 overall, which is pretty unbelievable because, like, he does have that potential. But anyway, Ways, man, have a look at JR Smith and revamp JR Smith now in his like what, like 11th year by now, something like that. Have a look at Paul George, look at that pass down on Jabari Parker. What a quick possession to start off the game. It's never gonna go down. Kyrie Irving is gonna find my man Thomas Robinson, who's been beasting for us, goes up with that layup. Now, people, this was a special game for Paul George. He truly came out into his own this game. Actually, he's getting that steal. He's gonna go with the slam dunk with the left hand. Let's go, man. Paul George was feeling it all throughout this game. I don't think he went cold once. He just straight up beasted. AC with gambling on that steal and Darren Colson's getting that jumper to go. But still, man, sorry about the sort of like pooey intro because I know usually I make my intros pretty cool but not today. That was a bit sad. But have a look at Jabari not getting that shot to go at the end of the first quarter. So the score's going to be 19-21. to 21. Cavs up by two. So we're about seven or eight games into the season, and the New York Knicks were like seven and one. They had an amazing record, so it looks like they'll be heading to the playoffs. But look at that move by Jabari Parker, getting the air one to go off that spin. I can't even talk. That was so amazing. As we're trying to get this steal here, Aaron Kraft's finally going to pick it up. But still, as I was talking about at the start of the season, man, the Knicks were straight up going off. So it looks like they could be maybe a potential contender. I don't know why, but Amari Stoudemire is putting up like 18 and eight, kind of those really good Amari numbers from back in the day. Not quite 25 a game like he used to do but he's still a really good scorer for his age but still man so basically our goal is to win the NBA championship if not the East I mean like we have to win the East we have the best team in the Eastern Conference easy straight up money as you see we're gonna go out to Paul George gonna go in with the jam oh my god oh my goodness if you could see my face right now Oh my, I wish I would have done this live. Oh my god. I wish I would have done like a live face cam. That would have been seriously amazing. SCPD's missing that. He's getting the layup to go off that offensive rebound. What a play. But still, man, that slam by Paul George. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, then he's getting the M1 off the... Oh my goodness. Paul George was feeling it, as I said earlier. He just straight goes off as there's Darren Colson down to Tyson Chandler, who's really old now. I think he's down to like a 73 overall. That's a bit sad, as he's still getting like 17 million or something for this year. AC, see, that'll be the end of the second quarter. It'll be 38 to 41 going into halftime. I'll leave you guys with this interview with Doris Burke and Tyson Chen. Well, Tyson, coming off the loss in the last game, it seems like you guys are playing with a renewed intensity here tonight. What's been the difference? Well, we just came out in the stair round close. You know, last night we had a letdown. Tonight we got to do a better job of getting down, setting our ground, playing defense and taking advantage of this game. Tyson, thank you for the time. Guys, over to you. Thank you, Dorian. So here at the halftime report, we got Paul George with 11 points, 3 rebounds and 2 assists. Jabari Parker with 7 points as well. Paul George having a really good all-round game so far. Let's see if he can improve on that. As where is Iman Shumpert on that play? Joel Embiid sets a sneaky screen to leave Paul George wide open for that J. So here we go now. Kyrie Irving looking to break down Darryl Colson. Goes out to Joel Embiid who gets the easy layup. Joel Embiid a star player. He's like an 87 overall. That is seriously amazing for a second year player. I'm not sure if that's too realistic. But he's Paul George turning on the Jets and he slams it down. All over the New York Knicks defense, Amari Stoudemire. How do you like that? That was an unbelievable slam dunk by PG. Now he's taken it to the rack with the left hand. 48 to 49. He was carrying this team as Kyrie Irving had another really tough shooting night. Have a look at Darren Colson just getting into the paint there. Probably a little bit overrated. Like, from the start of 2K, because I'm pretty sure when this game first came out, he was like an 83 or an 84 overall. That's a little bit higher for a guy who came off the bench last year in Dallas. But how we go with Paul George, look at the up and under moves. PG has everything right now. Is PG the new LeBron James? Can I just ask that question? Because right now he's playing like it. As we're finding Kevin Garnett for the open midi, that's not going to go. I'll see you guys after the assist of the game. This was a showstopper, wasn't it? Just a difficult pass to make and makes it flawlessly to set up that alley-oop. 
So here we go, people. The fourth quarter. Here's Raymond Felden out to Tim Hardaway Jr. for the three in the corner. We cannot leave that man open. What a season he's had for the New York Knicks. Like, seriously, that's a feel-good story. As you see, Raymond Felton going out to Hardaway Jr. We need to step up our transition defense, man. We cannot have that happen too often. And have a look at that. There's the missed layup by Shumpert. And we're going to go up to Curry Irving, who draws the foul and gets the M1 to go. Finally, Curry getting involved in the offense. So now here we go up. Paul George to Jabari Parker as he slams that one down. That puts us up by one with six minutes to go. Look at that replay. He gets his head up to the rim. Unbelievable dunk by Jabari. We really needed some more of him from this game. He couldn't, like, he had some trouble against Shumpert. I'll give him that. But here we go. Here's Curry Irving out to PG, getting Shumpert in the air. He's having so much trouble defending PG, and he can't defend that as that puts us up by one. As look at that pass from, I believe that was Darren Collison. That was amazing. Out to Shumpert for the open meeting. They're up by one now. Here's Curry Irving looking to create. Out to PG. They're leaving him. That's bomb. Buckets from Paul George. You can't leave that man. You know it. He is the new LeBron James. So here we go. Here's Shumpert going up with the float. He's getting that one to go. Under five minutes now. Here's Jabari wide open for three. And he's going to knock that one down. We needed that 3-2 as it was once tied up. Now we're up by three. Out to Jabari getting another big bucket to go. Jabari Parker stepping up when it is needed. He always steps up in the fourth quarter. That's the best thing about Jabari. As Tyson Chandler gets that layup down low. So here we go. Now we're going right back with Embiid with the post fadeaway. He has that shot and he's going to knock that one down. So here we go, man. J.R. Smith with that three. That's not going to go. Thomas Robertson got an outlet to Paul George. He's surveying the field and he's going to take it in with that contested layup. How did he get that to go? Amari Stoudemire bumped him. No call. So here we go, PG. Look at that pass down to Thomas Robinson with a no-look layup. That was unbelievable. So now here's PG. We're up by six at this point. To put us up by eight, Iman Shumpert, where were you? PG has that in the bag if you give him that much space. We're up by eight. Get that out of here, Tyson Chandler. Now we're going to go up, PG. Will he get this lap to go? And one. Count the bucket. That's the dagger, ladies and gentlemen. 78 to 88. We're going to close out this game. We're going to get away with a 9-point win. What a game by the Cavs. We really, really closed that out well. That's something I believe we did have trouble with last year. We would sort of get to that, you know, we're down by two, down by one sort of points with about five minutes to go. We would end up losing the game, but now we have a full-on closer in Paul George. I believe in that man as he dropped 37 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds. What a game. So, guys, if we can go ahead and reach 80 likes on this video, that will equal the next Cleveland Cavaliers My GM Mode gameplay. And, guys, I'll leave you with this interview with Paul George and Doris Burke. I'll be with you after that. Well, Paul, it seemed you were really intent on making sure you had a big impact in guiding this team to the win. Tell us what your mindset has been. I did. I wanted to start, you know, the second half off uh, with a lot of energy. And, I mean, I wanted to make it a focus for myself that, you know, I wouldn't let teams, um, you know, take things away from me. So, I just want to step it up and up and up a level. Gentlemen, a young man imposing his will. So guys, thank you so much for watching. As you saw, Paul George dropped 37. That is seriously unbelievable. Jabari Park had a pretty nice night as well. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Let's go join it out. Cheers.